Hello class, um, we're going to continue with some bump mapping things and in this case I'm just going to make one for the brick. Uh, the brick is um, going to, in my case because I have dark brick, in most brick I think will this be the case, I'll actually have to invert the bump map to make it work and I'll show you that as I go through. So I'm going to come, um, I'm going to open that brick material in Photoshop again just like I did in the last video for a standard bump map and I have this. Now my bump map is already gray. If yours is, is red, you might have to remember adjust the, uh, I, went, I went to hue saturation, took the saturation down. There might be a slight color in mine, so I can go ahead and do it. We probably won't see anything. Um, but the issue with mine is, we have to remember, black goes deep, white pops out, and gray stays even. So right now, if I save this as a bump map, my my mortar joints are going to be bumping out, because they're pretty close to white. And my bricks are going to be pushed in, rather than or a flat to being pushed in. Um, so that's not going to work for us because uh, that's the backward, backwards of what it needs to do. So what I'm going to first do is I'm going to go up to image and I'm going to go to adjust uh, and I'm going to invert my image. And it might look a little strange but this is what the bump map should look like because now the mortar joints are darker than my brick. So the mortar joints are going to go in. In this case my bricks might pop out a little bit so I'm going to just play with the colors, although this would work pretty well for you in your bump map. I'm just going to play with my levels a little bit. Um, so I'm going to go to adjust levels. I'm going to do the, oh, uh, what did I do? I did curves by accident there. Then go adjust levels this time. There we go. I got levels. And I'm going to start with my black uh, button. So I'm going to pick my, pick my black and and um, pick a mar mortar joint just to, to make those sure that those are sort of all even there and then I might pick my gray which is actually going to be sort of the surface um, there. I don't really want any whites and I and I have this here. Now I might also say because the color variation in this brick was ha, was pretty varied which was nice for color but this might be a little bit too much varied for texture for bump maps. So I'm going to go to adjusts and I might try various things. Um, let me try to pull the contrast down in that brick I did a little bit. Uh, I would love to do more. So, let's see if I go back to levels. Let's see, that's gonna. See, I'm sort of pulling the contrast of this thing down a little bit. I, I'm gonna see what happens here. I'm just sort of experimenting and you know, try reapply levels. I'm gonna go back to black and set my black uh, there. I'm going to see if I can set my gray point to be whiter, like something like this. All right, so it's a little more even now than it was before. Uh, although I still have some black areas. The reality is if you're going to really do a good texture map, you might go in here if you think this is going to be too dark. Uh, you might go in and, and clone stamp this guy to lighten it up because there's only so much I can do with playing with levels. But I think for now, I'm going to go ahead and use this, so I'll just save this and do a save as and call it brick bump. Um, and now I'm just going to apply it the same way I did in this last video. I'll let the video run, but if you know what you're doing, you can go ahead and do that. Or if you want to refresh or go ahead and watch this next section. So I'm going to come over here. I'm still, let's see, make sure I'm selected on brick over here. It's called brick antique is the material. I'm going to go to the bump map. I'm going to say load texture. I'm going to load the brick bump that I created here. Um, we can see slight variation. I might have to zoom in a little bit so I can see what's going on. There we go. And we can see that it actually looks like the mortar joints are pushed in, but I can continue to play with that. Obviously, that looks a little too freaky. Uh, oops, I have multiple uh, materials selected right now, unfortunately, but um, you know, something like that will look looks pretty nice for the brick, just adds that level of detail. I'm going to, have to go back and change this. I'll probably stop the video. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to I'm going to keep doing the same con concepts. So I'm going to keep making bump maps for all my materials in this model and keep applying them to the correct material over here and then click setting the loading them and setting my bump map textures uh, to get the right level of bump for each of those materials. Uh, and when I'm done, I'm going to go on to other things about materials. I'll probably do, uh, might do transparency next um, or something like that. We'll see what the video is. All right, I'll see you there once I finish making all my textures.